Welcome to our virtual classroom. Hi, I'm Teacher Mitch. Hello, I'm Teacher Abby. Always remember that learning never stops. So, are you ready to learn? Let's start. Hi, students. Are you ready to learn something new? Before we start, let us read and analyze the situations. You were with your friends having a good time. Then, your mother called and said, Go home now. Your father is looking for you. He is boiling mad. Do you expect to see your father inside this boiling pot when you go home? What does the term boiling mad mean? Boiling mad means very angry. My best friend will join the Division Festival of Talents tomorrow. Our teacher tells him to bring home the bacon. Does the teacher mean that he should buy bacon and bring it home? What does the teacher mean when she says, bring home the bacon? Bring home the bacon means to win the prize. Andrew will sing the Philippine National Anthem during the program. I told him to break a leg and hug him tight. Does it mean that I want to break Andrew's leg? What do you mean by the term break a leg? Break a leg means to wish good luck. We have a beautiful garden because my mother has a green thumb. Does it mean that my mother is some kind of an alien? What do you mean by the term green thumb? Green thumb means a person who is good at growing plants. Your mother said, bring an umbrella with you. It's raining cats and dogs outside. Do you expect to see cats and dogs falling from the sky when you go out of your house? What do you think is the meaning of raining cats and dogs? Raining cats and dogs means raining heavily. What have you noticed about the terms? Break a leg, raining cats and dogs, green thumb, bring home the bacon, and boiling mad. We call them idiomatic expressions. A 
An idiom is a phrase or expression that typically presents a figurative, non-literal meaning attached to the phrase. An idiom's figurative meaning is different from the literal meaning. Here are examples of idiomatic expressions. Hit the hay. Sorry guys, I have to hit the hay now. At first, it seems like the person saying this really wants to punch some hay. But it really just means that they're really tired and want to go to sleep. Up in the air. Hey! Did you ever figure out those plans? No, they're still up in the air for now. We'll figure everything out later. Can plants actually be floating high in the sky? This idiom really means that the situation being planned is still undecided and that everything is still uncertain or unsure. Stab in the back. I don't want to be Haley's friend anymore. She stabbed me in the back. Literally, stabbing someone in the back could bring someone to jail. That's definitely not what this idiom means. Being stabbed in the back means that you've been betrayed by someone who you thought you could trust. takes two to tango. David isn't the only guilty one here. After all, it takes two to tango. It literally does not take two to tango. You can dance the tango unless you have a partner. But this idiom means that if there's a suspicious situation, then there's more than one culprit. They couldn't have done it by themselves. Kill two birds with one stone. Why not go to the post office on your way to the mall and kill two birds with one stone? Don't worry, we're not actually killing any birds here. When you kill two birds with one stone, a single action knocks out two tasks or responsibilities. Accomplish two different things at the same time. of cake. Ha! That assignment was really a piece of cake. No, the professor didn't give them a slice of cake to eat. When something is a piece of cake, it's so simple that it's as easy as eating one. Cost an arm and a leg. Matt, I really want that car. But it costs an arm and a leg. I don't think I should get it for now. When something costs an arm and a leg, you won't literally have to cut off your arm and leg to buy it. It just means that it costs a lot of money. So it would be as painful for your wallet as cutting off an arm and a leg to pay for it. Rule of thumb. As a rule of thumb, you should usually pay for your date's dinner too. A rule of thumb is a rule that is not totally precise. It's based on common experience and common sense. They aren't based on science or research. Blow of steam. Hey! I'm feeling pretty angry right now. I'm going to go blow off steam. To blow off steam isn't to stand above a tea kettle and huff and puff. When you're feeling angry or upset and want to do something to relieve these emotions, then 
you're blowing off steam, doing something or taking a break to help get rid of stress. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe for more learning videos here at Teacherific!